So if I could just think of a way to do this. I'm having trouble. I'm trying to I'm trying to capture video, which is fine. And then I want to be able to use B-roll in the video, and I want to be able to find it. And I can't find it. It's frustrating as hell. I want to be able to add audio tracks in certain places, and those are not easy to find. And then I want to be able to add pictures as well to the video. And man, this is just getting to be really tough because I have to go hunting all through the files, bring them up, look at them, and see if I want them or not. I just got to think of a better way. Hi, I'm DJ Ware. On this episode of the Cyber Gizmo, I'm trying to organize things for managing the videos that I produce. This would be, I need to have it manage video, audio, and photos, probably some documentation as well. I've looked at a lot of them. I looked at Stream.io, I've looked at Plex, I've looked at Jellyfin, something called Universal Media Center. And uh, yeah, I'm looking for something that's open source. So finally, I settled on MB. MB I've used before in the past. Uh, and so I just like the way it does it best. Uh, some of them have to go out and look up you know, the, the art for the music and the art for the movie. And I don't need all that. So I need to be able to turn all that off and just have it show me the first couple of, maybe the first frame in the video so that I know what, what it is. Anyway, why don't you come with me today and we're going to get started. I'm going to install it on ARM. So what I have here is I've downloaded the uh, MB server and you can go. I mean, it's, it is free, so... You'll notice here that you have a number of operating systems, and if you drop this menu down, Debian, which is the one we want. So let's let's just try it here. I have the package downloaded. It's a deb file, and we'll just see what happens. Okay, so let's take a look. Yep, it's running, and we can verify that. I have SS. Yeah. So it is. There's something listening on eighty ninety six, and that is correct. Oh, yeah, that works a lot better. Okay, so there's a get starting guide here that you can go check out if you want. It will step you through what you need to do in order to prepare your media and get your folders all set up. So one thing I have not done, yeah, there's an MB user. So let's go out here. I have, I'm creating a, a mount. So it's right here. It's uh, it's a one terabyte SSD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to change the owner, and there and the group is the same. And I I'm going to make one for let let's say video and audio, and then pictures. Yeah, pictures. Play language, well, yeah, English would be good. For me, anyway. So, I am ready to set up my library. So, let's set up one. And you do these one at a time. So, I don't, I see one here for, like, music videos, mixed content. So and so forth. So let's let's do this one first. And then I'll tell it what folder I want. Okay. So yeah, we want to enable photos. Real-time monitoring. That means that it will automatically catalog uh an entry that gets added. Okay, let's just try this. The next one we want is video. So I guess this is okay. I'll create my folders again. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. No, this isn't. 
That's not going to be very useful to me. And neither will this. However, that will be. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm not sure that I really care about this either. This, this maybe. So I have my media library set up. So let's go ahead and go next. I don't want to do that. And we're finished. Okay, so we should be able to sign in. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. All right, so what I want to do is I want to upload some content here. So let's take a look at what we got here. So and music, I should have. It just hadn't scanned them yet. There's quite a few of them. All right, so you say you're done. There's my photos. There's a few videos in here too. This is good. Now I can now I've got a nice dark table to see what images I want to use. So now let's see. That looks good. Let's just look at songs. Okay, good. So now I got a nice list of those. I don't have too many of these. I just have a uh, a small block of those. Okay. Now we got to wait for it to process this. You'll notice that some of them are coming out here. And see now these are, these are the ones I just moved. So they haven't picked up yet the, a thumbnail. But yeah, I think this will work. I think this is going to work for me. One of the problems that I have is, is that you know, after you get up to around 400 videos, uh, 400 plus, then you start running into issues where uh, I had some B-roll and I don't know where it is. So I will probably create a few more directories here that will have B-roll in them or and store some of that B-roll there. And I can probably organize that by folder. So I think I'm going to stop here so and work on this some more and get some more of this up. But... I think you get the idea that, um, and, I mean, MB is quick to get installed. It runs on, it runs on a lot of different platforms. This is running on a, well, here you can, this is running on Debian 11. This is Bullseye and it is on an old Droid N2 and yeah, it doesn't have a lot of memory. Um, let's take a look and see how much it's consuming. So I'm, this is a server, a Debian server. It's using about 637 meg, and that's with this running. My impressions of MB so far are pretty good. I'm using a Odroid N2 Plus, and it, it seems to be handling the workload just fine. Uh, I notice, uh, yeah, a little bit of lag when it's initially going in to catalog it, try to figure out what the metadata is. That seems to be the place where it slows down a little bit. So I have replaced um, the SD card, <laughs> which was really a bad idea because those are the slowest devices on the planet, with a SATA, uh, a SATA drive, and it is an SSD. So we'll try that and, and see how well that works. Uh, all in all, uh, it's, it does what I need it to do. It can organize documents, it can organize video, it can organize uh, uh, photos, and it even can handle music and audio files. So this is great. This is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going to try MB for a while, and uh, I think I think that's going to fit the bill. I, I do. Thanks for watching. I uh, wanted to take this time to thank my Patreon members and members of the channel. Thank you all. Thank you all for your support. I sure do appreciate you. Thank you for watching this video and hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.